Here is your typical stuff sack. It has straps on the side and around it to go ahead and compress things. Stuff sack, they're very important. Sleeping bags, pillows, blankets, comforters, or just stuff. Whatever it is that can be stuffed into a sack, squished down a little bit to secure it, won't take up much room at all. But these are necessary for sleeping bags. It's the easiest way to deal with it. First of all, they do have instructions. This is a military army bag. Just quickly saying, it's a stuff sack. Got more to talk about this stuff sack. You just put your stuff in there, whatever it may be. Other gear, pillow, whatever. Typical wool blanket. That's pretty good size wool blanket. We can still stuff that in there. Usually you want to have things folded up a little bit, but it takes away from the idea that it's a stuff set. So we'll just stuff it in there. Now this is a large stuff bag. We could have folded this up a little bit, but we want to get on to a different part of the video here in a moment. Put that sack over there. This is military surplus. This is good stuff. <laughs> stuff set. Then here, you have your straps, so you can stuff that down more, but here you have your straps. Usually I've seen people, I don't know why, uh, I guess just to get more compression on it, but if you do, you could rip these straps if you put way too much. Okay, pull that up. Get it as even as you can. Okay, you gotta pay attention to the straps that twist in here. Like I said, this is a military surplus, so i to make sure those straps are turned right. That will happen a lot over use. Pull it up. So that's not bad for a El Cheapo sleeping bag, but it's still a good size. It's light bag, and it has a heavy-duty wool blanket in there. That will keep you warm during the summer, even into the fall months. Stuff bag. Now let's take a look at what you have to do with this bag to help get it ready, because it is military surplus. And these are good bags gear, sleeping bags, pillows, blankets, comforters, compression stuff sack, the army stuff sack. Pick these up for $9.95. Not too bad. Fairly new, well taken care of, but you have to go through any snags, hanging threads, cut them if you can, using scissors, knife, what have you. And then you may have to go ahead and use the lighter to go ahead and melt them down just a little bit to seal it if it's in a critical location like a seam area. Now, take the stuff sack, turn it inside out, pull it out. Now, let me show you. Now, you see some of that? Now, I've already trimmed this a little bit. I got to come back. I also got to be careful I don't catch the whole thing on fire, which I don't think I will. Look at all this that I've already pulled out. Like a little bird's nest in there. Because what will continue to happen if you don't trim this up a little bit, and then maybe, if you want to, come back with a lighter and just go ahead and burn that down a little bit. Those are critical seam areas. But when you stuff your sleeping bag or anything else in this stuff sack, it could go ahead and snag up all of this and rip it out more than before you know it, you have your whole sack that's just tore open. Army stuff sack, that is. And that's just something you got to do as far as pulling maintenance goes. These are handy to compress down your sleeping bag or any other gear that you have. For $9.95 for a stuff sack, that's not too bad. Let me see if I can get this sign out here for you. Well, of course, we've got the military. Get this 
fabricated around. Stuff sack. I'll take a picture of it and put it up there for you to see. They're great. You can get them in different colors if they are available. What am I talking about? Basically green, camo, what, OCP, I think. They only had black when I went in there, but I needed them to go ahead and put sleeping bags in and compress them down so they were fit where we want them to go. Check the straps, make sure they're all positioned correctly and ready to be pulled up once you put your bag in there or gear. And don't over tighten them, but you can cinch them down pretty heavy. But again, if you abuse it, you can break anything. These stuff sacks, whatever you want to call them, are nice. Here, a couple there. I missed. Now you can clip those. I just go ahead and burn them again to show you. Now you got to be careful. Make sure nothing's covered with flammable fluid. And yes, sometimes people use flammable fluid to clean with. You don't want to do that. To clean these stuff sacks, soap and water and a brush. A little bit. Spot clean it. But these are sold on the open market. There you go. Got it from the military surplus store. Pretty good. Not bad for $9.95. The equivalent runs for about $30 online or elsewhere. You can pick these up. Military surplus. They will last you a lifetime if you don't abuse them. I hope these tips help. Not too bad, not too shabby. Got another one to do now. I just want to make sure all this is cleaned up, ready to go. Thanks a lot for watching.